So we're given u of t is equal to sine of t plus cosine of t. And a is equal to pi over 2. So our summation of a Taylor series would be from k equals 0 to n of u of the kth derivative at a over k factorial times, usually this is x, but since it's u of t, we have t minus a to the kth power. All right, so let's find some derivatives. So first I'm going to say u prime of t, or u, I can write it like this, u1 in parentheses, is cosine of t minus sine of t. Then second derivative, minus sine of t, minus cosine of t. The third derivative is equal to minus cosine of t plus sine of t. And then our fourth derivative is actually equal to u of t, so our zeroth derivative goes back to sine of t plus cosine of t. Wonderful. All right, so now we want to know what u to the kth derivative is. We can keep going, say u to the fifth, it'll be the same as this one. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, whatever. So we want to know what it is when a is pi over 2. So I'm just going to write that next to it. So u at pi over 2 is equal to cosine of pi over 2 minus sine of pi over 2 and cosine pi over 2 is 0 and sine of pi over 2 is 1 we have minus so 0 minus 1 negative 1 bam awesome second derivative equal to negative sine of pi over 2 minus cosine pi over 2. Okay, so negative sine pi over 2, negative 1, minus 0, negative 1. Excellent. Oh, it's not equals. Third derivative at pi over 2. We have negative cosine of pi over 2 plus sine of pi over 2. So we have 0 plus 1, 1, excellent. And then our fourth derivative, which is the same as just this. I'm just going to write u of pi over 2 is equal to sine of pi over 2 plus cosine of pi over 2. That's a weird pi. Which is equal to 1 plus 0, or just 1. Excellent. All right? Grabbing a different piece of chalk. That one's tiny. And we're going to set up our summation. We want the first five non-zero terms. Since none of these came out as zeros, we're just going to go from k equals zero to four. Because that's zero, one, two, three, and four. That's five terms. 
So we have our summation from k equals 0 to 4 of u k derivative at a over k factorial times t minus 1a is actually pi over 2. So that should be pi over 2. So t minus pi over 2 to the k. Okay, so let's write out our terms. So u to the 0, which was this one at pi over 2, is 1. So we have 1 over 0 factorial times t minus pi over 2 to 0. And then the next one is actually negative. Yes. So I'm just going to put that minus there. Minus 1 over 1 factorial times t minus pi over 2 to the first power. The next one's also negative. So minus 1 over 2 factorial times t minus pi over 2 squared. Then we go back to positive, so plus 1 over 3 factorial, t minus pi over 2 cubed, and then lastly, plus 1 over 4 factorial, t minus pi over 2 to the fourth. Right? So that is equal to 0 factorial is just 1. T to the minus pi over 2, all that to the 0, it's just 1, so we have 1. Minus 1 factorial, that's 1. And then t minus pi over 2 to the first power, which is t minus pi over 2. So then we have minus t minus pi over 2. Okay. Then 1 over 2 factorial is the same as 1 half. You can leave it with the factorial, get rid of it. Either way, it doesn't matter. So minus 1 half. And then, well, since, ah, since this is t minus pi over 2 squared, and that's a 1, I'm just going to write that on top. So we have t minus pi over 2 squared over 2. And then we have plus 1 over 3 factorial. 3 factorial 6, you can leave it as 1 third, or 1, a 1 over 3 factorial, or 1 6. Don't write it as 1 third, it's not the same thing. And then we have t minus pi over 2 cubed. This is plus t minus pi over 2 cubed over 6. And then the last one, 4 factorial is 24. So 1 plus t minus pi over 2 to the fourth for 24. Okay.